What's going on YouTube? I'm back for another review here to talk about um, Basketball Wild Season 6 Episode 4. So the episode starts off with Jackley, Jackley, Jackie, Evelyn, and Kristen meeting up. Um, she kind of, it was kind of like a, a meetup, really an introduction for Evelyn and Kristen because they had never met before Evelyn. I mean, Jackie felt like Evelyn and Kristen would kind of mesh well together. So you know, the first thing, of course, you know, with Jackie, they always got to be drinking. So she, you know, who wants some wine? Evelyn was like, oh, I want some. But then she was like, oh, girl, I forgot I'm doing IVF or whatever. So I can't drink. And so this is when she goes into the whole spill of this is her third IVF treatment. And, you know, she talks about having a miscarriage. And Kristen is able to understand where she's coming from because she was like, girl, we just had a miscarriage like a couple months ago. I'm still in the process of trying to lose the weight that I gained from that baby. She talks about how um, she it, she was like four or five months pregnant when she had the miscarriage. She went in for a checkup to go check the heartbeat. They couldn't find a heartbeat. And, you know, she pr pretty much had to have an abortion. Um, I, can't I can't even begin to try to imagine what that feels like. Um, you know, just, you know, especially, I mean, miscarriage, I'm, you know, miscarriages are hard on a woman anyway, but when you are, have got to the point where, you know, because at four or five months, I'm I'm thinking that, you know, around that time, you done figured out what the sex of the baby is and how many babies that you're going to have and stuff like that. And so it's kind of like, um, it's very heart-wrenching. And then especially when you have women's where it's like the baby is dead, but they're too far along to have an abortion. So they pretty much have to carry this dead baby for the rest of the pregnancy it's just you know women go through a lot and jackie said the same thing happened to her um and so this is when she goes into talking about the book signing event um i'm still you know she was basically like girl me and tammy got a problem because she threatened to punch me in the face but i'm like that's your fault because why would you show it to an event that you weren't one were not invited to and two the event is hosted by somebody that you're at odds with at this time. Um, but, you know, she goes to talking about the safari tasting and, you know, they both agree that they're going to come. And she says Tammy's not invited. So Shawnee meets up with Tammy. Tammy basically goes back and recounts the incidents from uh, the book sign. And she talks about Jackie and how she sat shade in there with a coat on with a wolf pussy fur. <laughs> um... And, 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 you know, Shawnee was just shocked, too. Like, girl, why was she there if y'all not even cool? And so she goes and talking about Jackie was like, girl, y'all, we need to all sit down and have a conversation. I'll be the mediator. Shawnee was like, girl, so she must have forgot the fact that you don't want to, that you don't even want to deal with her. So how she going to mediate something for somebody that well, one of the women don't even want to deal with her? So then Shawnee basically brings up whole, um, like, I want you and Evelyn to be back cool because, you know, with me being friends with both of y'all, it's kind of hard, you know, being in the middle. Sometimes I feel like I'm being pulled one way versus the other, and it's just, it's a lot. So Tammy says she'll think about it. Um, there was a scene where Shawnee and Evelyn were riding in the car. Now, I don't know if this is actually on the show or if it was like a clip that they showed during commercial breaks. A lot of times when they were basically discussing the whole thing with Tammy, and I mean, discussing Jackie and the um, safari, and, you know, they just cracking jokes like, girl, you know, what happened to her as a child? She has all these weird fantasies and weird fascinations, and they were just like, girl, I just, I don't know what to say. And so Shawnee brings up again with Evelyn, like, girl, you and Tammy need to sit down and talk. And Evelyn says, I'll consider it because it's for you. So... We had this whole thing with Christian and her boyfriend or whatever. He goes through this whole spiel about, girl, I just love you so much. You know, you was there for me when, you know, you sacrificed a lot for me. When you could have had a pair of shoes or could have had this and could have had that. You put it on the side burner for me to do what it was that I had to do. And you've been down for me and riding down. Woo, woo, woo. But I'm like, okay, but where the ring at, though? Like, girl, you doing all this professing your love to her. I'm sitting there th thinking, okay, he about to propose. And she still walked up out of there with a naked ring finger. But anyway, it is what it is. So we get to the wine safari. Jackie shows up. And I think it was Kristen and one of her sisters. 
The cheese was hard and crunchy. The grapes was nasty. Uh, Shawnee, Evelyn, and the other sisters show up. You know, they have this whole spill. Jackie, all the other women just on their first glass. Jackie already on glass number four. Y'all know Jackie loves to drink. She drinks like a fish. Um, so, I was confused. <laughs> Jackie, I don't know what type of crap goes on in her and Doug's bedroom. I don't want to know. But when she was talking about the giraffe, talking about the giraffe was all big and strong and muscular. And then she put the piece of lettuce in her mouth trying to tongue kiss the giraffe and trying to talk the other women into doing it. I was just like, girl, you doing a little bit too much for me. Um, like, I don't even like when a dog lick me in my mouth, let alone let a daggone giraffe try to, try to, try to uh, get a taste of my tongue. Like, girl, anyway. So, but whatever, Jackie was turned up the whole time, you know, she was lit. So, we finally see uh, Jackie and Malaysia meet up. Um, is it me? But Malaysia got, a, got one of them walks, like her butt thing. I'm just... <laughs> Like her walk, I never, I've never paid much attention to it until this episode. Um, Malaysia obviously seemed like she was a little bit lit before she even met up with Jackie. Like she had had a, a drink or two because when the dude that was giving her a drink was like, "Hey, you know," she was like, "Girl, you cute. How are you? I'm Malaysia. I'm single, ready to mingle. You know, if you, you know, when you go on break, we can go in. We can go in the break room and get it in right now." So, Malaysia tells Jackie, like, girl, I plan on moving to Atlanta because I want to open up my boutique for children and whatever. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Jackie was like, girl, I, I need to come there and be with you. Malaysia was like, girl, that's not going to work for me because, like, girl, your husband needs you here. She was like, girl, what you talking about? Doug lives in a whole other state. I'm still, I'm here by myself. Malaysia was like, well, girl, I really don't want you to come because I don't really F with you like that. Like, girl, we, you know, we just cool on the show because I'm trying to get this check. But in real life, I don't F with you. So, let's see. So, Jackie basically gives Malaysia the rundown of what's happened, what's been happening from episode one to episode three. It was just a whole bunch of girls. Malaysia was like, she's sitting here telling me all this crap that she know I don't give two cares about. Um, but Malaysia did have to check Jack and was like, girl, you should have never, when you was, you know, talking to Ellen, you should have never brought Tammy's name up in it in the first place. So, you know, because if she was on the other foot and your name was brought up in something, you would be pissed off too. So you ought to understand why Tammy feels the way she feels. So Shawnee, Tammy, and Evelyn meet up. Uh, Tammy shows up first. Um, then Evelyn shows up. Now, Tammy was like, girl, I'm just here. Hopefully I ain't got to fight because, you know, I'm, I'm a jump starter. Evelyn's a jump starter. When you got two jump starters as at odds with each other, it ain't no telling what's going to pop off. So I got to scope the room out, let me know, you know, what it is if something happened to pop off. Because I know Evelyn like to throw bottles. So they had this whole conversation. Evelyn was basically like, girl, I feel like I owe, I'm owed an apology because when we sat down and had a conversation, you called me a B, a B-I-T, and you called me a hoe. And I don't feel like I deserve to be called any of those things, especially considering the fact that I was coming to you respectfully, not raising my voice, not getting loud, not getting booked, not swinging off, not busting you in the head with a wine bottle, none of that. So I just I don't I don't feel like I was treated fairly. So Tammy get all pissed off like, girl, the reason I was calling you a BIT is because you came at me with some mess that I didn't care about, about a man that I was married to back in 1994. Like, girl, get up out my face with that fool and just, I don't have time for you. So she get up and walk out. Go smoke a cigarette. So when she goes out, when Shawnee goes out to talk to Tammy, Tammy basically was like, girl, I would have respected Evelyn more if she would have just came to, because one of the issue, even though Tammy said that the whole Kenny thing was irrelevant, she didn't care about, she just was like, girl, I would have appreciated if Evelyn would have just came to me and said, you know, I should have said something to you sooner. And, you know, and it, and it would have been cool. So, you know, it, so time, uh, I can't even get my words right. Tammy tells Shawnee, so you can relay that message to Ellen. I'll be in there in a minute. So when Tammy goes, comes back in, Shawnee basically was like, girl, you know, it is what it is or whatever. So Evelyn was like, girl, I apologize or whatever for 
whatever it is that you feel like I need to apologize. It was it was kind of an apology, like girl, I don't feel like I did anything wrong, but to make the situation better, I'm you know apologizing. Um, Tammy was like, uh, so Shani was like, girl, Tammy, she apologized. Tammy said, I didn't hear her say I'm sorry. So they had this whole corny like, girl, we gonna say I'm sorry at the same time, and they bust out laughing. I'm like, how do you go from? Being pissed off and walking out of the meeting, now y'all sitting here laughing and key hen. I was just like, girl, go on somewhere. Like, yeah. Anyway, but I mean, we uh, personally, I knew that they was going to come back cool anyway because the whole rest of the season is going to be the whole East Coast versus West Coast, the Miami versus the LA girls. So, of course, Tammy and Evelyn would have to be cool with each other. Side note, Jackie was pissed, girl. Okay, let me get into Miss Jackie because that was the last scene. So, Shawnee and Jackie meet up. So, somehow Jackie found out that Shawnee, that Tammy and Evelyn are cool, which I'm confused, trying to figure out who told her that because it wasn't nobody there but them three. So, Jackie was like, girl, um, you know, I'm pissed off because I wasn't there to defend myself. I know my name came up and I know they was talking crap, so I should have been there. But it's like... The reason why you weren't there because them the whole thing with them meeting up was to go back and rehash what was discussed at the birthday party. They they shiny just happened to bring up the situation with you because the okay. Let me just say this when it pertains to Jackie. Jackie, I feel like she orchestrated this whole beef between Tammy and Evelyn because she knew that they were already not cool and were at all in one another. So she brought in this whole thing where Evelyn donated the money to the daughter just to spark up some more flames, which is basically what Shawnee said, like, girl, you know, this whole situation with Jackie kind of added added fuel to the fire that had already been lit. Um, but at the same time, it wasn't like they were like dogging Jackie out. Okay, other than the wolf pussy comment, it wasn't like they were dogging Jackie out or dragging her name through the mud. One thing I will say is this. Even though Tammy lied, and I'm glad, and I'm glad that these shows go back and play the receipts because Tammy was like, "Girl, I'm not the type of person that wakes up in the morning and like, girl, let me get on here and see what Tavlin is doing and taking screenshots and sending it to people." But then in the other scene, when you was meeting up with the Elena and Jackie, you specifically sat there with your with your with your glasses on and was like, "Girl, I had to put these on because I'm looking for something. Oh, I can't find it, but I'll send it to you." But now all of a sudden, oh, I don't be screenshotting stuff and sending it to people like Tammy, girl, you, you're slipping. But she did say that, uh, but in Tammy's defense, the reason why Tammy sent Jackie that information is because Jackie said she wanted to see it. Um, so I don't think that she was being messy when, with, with that particular instance. And I think, and so Tammy, you know, felt like when her and Jackie met up, Jackie brought it to Evelyn trying to make it seem like Tammy was trying to start some beef between them, which, you know, wasn't the case. So, you know, when Jackie met up with Shawnee, um, Shawnee was basically like, yeah, your name came up, but I don't feel like it's my place to tell you exactly what was said. But I maybe you should sit down and talk to them and, you know, basically figure out what it is. Side note, why was Jackie up in the restaurant with nothing on up under her jacket but bras and panties? But then you say, you're not going to meet up with Doug. You're going somewhere else. So you just walk around town with nothing on with bras and panties. Like, girl, you almost 85 years old, girl. Don't nobody want to see that. But anyway, so she tells Shani, like, girl, okay, we're going to meet up. But I want you to be the mediator. And Jackie was really in her feelings when they showed that preview for next week. She First of all. She was pissed off because they back cool. But then when they actually walked in together, Jackie was like, okay, girl, let's just fight. I don't have time for words. I said, Jackie, are you really that pressed for friends that you are upset that two people that were mad at each other that you kind of added to the fire? Now they cool. Now you like, girl, are you really that desperate for friends? Well, I guess you are if you're hanging out with people that's young enough to be your daughter. But anyway, y'all, that's all I got to say about Basketball Wives. Thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you're not already a subscriber, also be sure to click the link for the playlist. If you miss any of my previous um, Basketball Wives reviews, it will be in the description box. Also, my social media information will be in the description box as well. And I will talk to y'all later.